Ben Fogel has claimed the BBC sacked him from Counterfile because of his accent. The presenter, 44, left the popular program in 2009 after eight years and has now said he was told it was because his accent was inaccessible to audiences. Speaking to Daily Express, Ben spoke out on his departure from the series, which came at the same time as Miriam O'Reilly's, who won a landmark ageism tribunal against the BBC for her own sacking. Westminster-born Ben told the Daily Express, when Miriam was dropped from Counterfile she said it was to do with age. I was working with her and dropped from the show at the same time and was told it was because of my accent. I don't want to name names, but I was told by someone high up on the show that my accent was inaccessible. Ben who found fame on BBC reality series Castaway 2000, briefly rejoined the program in 2014 before leaving again a year later. A representative for the BBC has been contacted for comment. O'Reilly, who was 52 at the time of her sacking, left the BBC a year after winning her legal battle and was thought to have received a six figure payout from the verdict. She was one of four female presenters in their 40s and 50s, at the time, who were removed from BBC One Rural Affairs show in 2009, when it was being revamped for peak time audiences. The BBC was accused of being obsessed with attracting younger viewers and of social engineering for sacking her because she was seen as too old. Countrifile's current presenters include County Durham-born Matt Baker, 40, Helen Skelton, 34, who hails from Cumbria and Anita Ronnie, 40, from Yorkshire Ben, is known for his love of outdoors and has fronted television shows such as Extreme Dreams. However the presenter is also known to be an adventurer himself having participated in the Atlantic rowing race and trekked across the empty quarter of Oman, the largest sand desert in the world, with James Cracknell. Ben is currently preparing to scale Mount Everest in just four weeks with Olympic cyclist Victoria Pendleton in May to raise money for the British Red Cross. Discussing the daunting project on Instagram last week, he said, This will be the biggest toughest challenge of my life, but it has been a childhood dream to try and climb to the summit of the world's highest mountain. We have spent the last two years training for this attempt, and I hope we can inspire others to pursue their own dreams and goals. Our message to you all is that with diligent planning and preparation and with focus, drive and determination, anything is possible. There is so much anger and negativity in the world that I hoped our journey can bring some light, inspiration, and happiness to those that follow us.